Hello, Chalet and truck owners. Um, this is Charlie Cushane. I was asked to do a follow-up video to the first one I did with any modifications I did to my Ford 2001 Ford F-350 diesel dually or to my Chalet truck camper, DS-116RB. And I've actually done quite a few uh, more uh, modifications so that it's ready for our two-year trip around the country. So here they are. Some of the first modifications to my truck um, to help tow or carry the um, chalet camper was I needed to get airbags installed to help carry the weight as well as um, the hold downs. Um, and I got this all done at um, Truck Camper Warehouse in New Hampshire and they were fantastic. Bill and his son have been great. They've always taken care of me if I've had any issues. Um, the actual airbags that are located here under the wheels um, were installed no problem. The hoses actually run right inside the gas tank area so you can just fill either one up. Um, <clears throat> and then the hold downs they added are nicely installed. That's the front one. And here's the back one behind the back bumper. Um, they're great and they work fine. Well, I guess the first modification I did to my truck um, is because it is a 2001, it was a little bit low on power for what I thought. And it has a 7.3 liter um, diesel. So I wanted to get a little more power and a little more economy for that long trip around the country. So I installed a K&N fresh air intake. Um, and a large um, four inch exhaust. And as you can see here, this is the K&N. Um, it actually was a great project. Um, it greatly increases airflow. And I'll show you what the exhaust looks like. So here is the exhaust. It's a large four inch diameter straight through exhaust that actually works very well. And as you can see, I have a large AFE um, tip on the end of it. Um, sounds great and works great. In addition to the intake and exhaust, I also include a TS six position um, power chip, which made a huge difference in the truck and the performance. Um, this allows you to set the position of um, how you want it to perform from a stock to high idle to plus 50, 75, 100, 140 horsepower. I leave it at the 75 horsepower and my gas mileage has gone from like 12.2 up to over 16.2. So that's a huge increase. And as you can see, I actually made a decal um, for the um, actual switch and you can set it to whatever you want as far as um, 75 50 so that works really really well I'm very pleased with it now while we're still inside the truck I might as well show you the other thing since I've upgraded um, the intake exhaust and with the new power chip I want to make sure I don't get in any trouble with the engine overheating or the transmission overheating um, so I installed some glow shift gauges, which are on the pillar. So as you see here, I'll turn the ignition on. These are great. Um, the top one is for the exhaust temperature. The middle one is for the transmission temperature. And the lower one is for the turbo boost. Um, these work great. I love having them and with an easy glance I can see I'm not getting in any trouble. While we're in the truck I might as well show you another thing. Um, I wanted to have better visibility while I'm backing up um, for multiple purposes. One when I have the chalet on the back of the truck I wanted to have a backup camera. So I installed that and I'll show you. And I also wanted to have the ability when I tow my enclosed car trailer to have an ability to hook that up by myself without my wife telling me this way, that way. So I made some bracketry and installed that camera. 
Now, the trick was mounting the cameras was one challenge, but mounting the actual monitor, which was a seven inch monitor, was a, a huge challenge. I didn't necessarily want to put it on the dash. I mean, I already had my GPS. I didn't want to clutter the dash or anything with a bigger monitor. So what I ended up doing is I mounted it right to the sun visor, as you can see. Um, it's a very simple mount. It clips right on with clips I made, as you can see, clips right on. Um, and it's a four channel, so you can turn it on. That is the back of the trailer right now. Now, if I change, there's four cameras. I'm only using, and there's the other one. That's the view of the hitch on the back of my truck. So now I can see either the back of the trailer or the back of the truck, depending on what I'm doing. And then it just turns off and the whole thing just disappears when I'm not using it. Here is the rear camera looking at the ball, as you can see. It's aimed beautiful, um, and the beauty of it is, the additional beauty, it's removable. I have it tucked behind the um, license plate, as you can see. So you take it off, and it just come, disconnects electrically, and I can put it away and store it wherever I want. So this is a very simple bracket that just hooks right in. And that's for the rear backup camera when I'm hooking up my trailer. Now, if you want to see on the chalet, there you have it. I mounted it to the top of the chalet. Now, the trick here was I needed power. And so I tapped off of that center light. As you can see, right now it's on. I have it turned on. And that camera points straight down, shows the entire back of this chalet. And um, it has infrared vision, so even at night, when there's no light back here, I'll be able to see. Since we're at the back of the chalet, I might as well show you the other modifications I did to the back storage compartment um, for easy access to multiple items. So here I'll show you. Um, as you can see, it's very well packed. Um, it's ready for our trip across the country. I mean, I have stuff in here like this is to hold the grill. Here's the grill. Um, but what you also see here is a compressor I built. Um, it works great. You, it's plugged right into the, the batteries from the front. It's 12 volt. You just turn it on off and then the air goes over and I have mounted in here a 30 foot hose reel air hose reel so I could pull this out and fill up my airbags and my or my tires on my truck so that works really great additionally I added this regular hose reel this holds up to 100 feet of hose which now it's nice and clean anytime I go somewhere I just wind it up or unwind to take it off and hook it up so that makes it very convenient. No more messing around trying to figure out what to do with hoses. Another thing I did is I wanted to run several items off the propane. So what I did is I teed off from the propane tanks. I teed off, as you see right here, and ran a line up over and down to here and this now tube is um, 20 feet long I can take that through the through the hole with my garden hose so there's one spot the hose will hook up to the water and this gas propane line will come out and I'll hook that to my gas grill my um, uh, one burner stove I have or a little um, gas fired fireplace so that works great for all those three things with one hose hookup for all of them now going inside the chalet we've made a few 
um, minor changes. This is just for storage generally. Um, but one thing we definitely wanted was to take our Breville oven with us. And as you can see, this fits perfectly here. Um, I actually put an extendable towel bar across with just a noodle and it has a bungee cord that runs around from one side to the other. That will not move anywhere. So we can travel with this. And then it just plugs in to this upper plug. So that is a great improvement um, as far as quick, easy cooking. We love that. Um, another thing for storage is we decided we're going to need a lot more storage than this originally had. So we actually have storage bins that we have on this side. As you can see, um, that's for me. This side is for my wife. There's six storage bins, three on each side. And then when we're done traveling and we park somewhere, we take the storage bins and we will stack them right there, floor to ceiling, if we need to. And then they'll be out of the way. We plan on putting winter clothes in here um, because we never know if we're going to get into cold weather. Um, another part of storage we wanted was actually in the um, rotating cabinet. We actually wanted more storage. So we got some, went to Walmart and got some bins that just fit in here. You'll see, they fit nice and snug so they can't come out. Um, and then in here, we have lots of drawers um, that we actually could put socks and underwear in. And one for my wife, one for me. This is all the space we're giving ourselves, so it's precious. So, And there's also a little bit of room for hanging, which I haven't put a bar in yet. But that's some of the storage options we've done. One other thing I've done is if I ever find myself needing to hook up the camper um, to my truck um, at night, I will probably need better visibility. Um, so even though now I have this tonneau cover on, uh, when I'm towing the trailer, obviously I don't have it on. But for now I left it on just to show you inside of the bed. I actually installed LED lights. As you can see, when you're up higher, the LED lights are mostly hidden. But you can actually dim these. It's on a remote control that you could just turn on and turn off, and it totally illuminates the bed. At night, you would not believe it's like daylight. So this is a really great modification. Another truck modification I did was um, for the back dually wheels. Um, I need to know that they're at 75 PSI and I didn't want to have to keep checking them all the time. So I talked to several people and was convinced to install these crossfire units. Uh, you could buy on Amazon or anywhere. Um, and they actually balance the pressure between the inner and outer wheel and give you a visual indicator of what the pressure is. And as you can see here, this is the installation. Um, there's the crossfire unit itself. It says 75 PSI and the yellow indication tells you it's at the right pressure. And then it hooks up right to the uh, valve stems. Another modification I did um, for our long trip was install a 67 gallon ga uh, diesel tank. Uh, the 39 gallon tank I felt was just too small and didn't give me the range I wanted, especially when we go all the way up to Alaska and not knowing how prevalent diesel stops will be. So I had a Titan 67 gallon fuel tank um, installed and had my other one taken out. Here's a view of it. It goes from way in the back all the way to the front and comes with a beautiful skid plate. Um, it's, it's great to have and um, right now the gas gauge seems to work pretty good. Um, when you have a full tank all the way down to like a quarter of a tank it seems to go down okay but after a quarter of a tank it gets iffy but I check the mileage and I can go almost a between 900 and 1,000 miles range um, on one tank. So that's really great um, for our trip. 
One other modification I did that's small, but I really like is I took out the stock halogen headlights and put in HID headlights. And as you can see, um, I took out the whole reflector assembly and put in these clear European style with HID lights and down below has clear lens with the diadem bulb. Um, these really work great, especially at night. So if I ever have to drive at night, my visibility is much improved.